Hi everyone, my name is Kevin DeLeon, I'm with Cengage Learning, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the course materials uh, that you'll be using this semester for History 101 and History 102 uh, Western Civilization courses. Um, they're a little different in the past, so that's why I wanted to put this video together uh, to give you a little bit of instruction. Um, the first screen that you'll see is the bookstore, and you'll notice um, that it is a custom uh, package that we put together. Uh, it is only offered in one option. This is volume one and this is volume two. If you go to the bookstore, um, the NVCC bookstore, either online or in person, and they'll have this package put together. This package includes a loose leaf version of uh, Spielvogel Western Civilization, ninth edition, volume one, and uh, Western Civilization, volume two by Spielvogel. They will all have, uh, they will both have MindTap codes um, inside the front cover for you. Uh, MindTap is a required component of this course, and all of your instructors will be using it um, in some way, shape, or form for your course, uh, but you are required to have it for the course. Uh, we set up special pricing as well. You can see down there at the bottom, it says buy new for $110.70. Uh, this is about $70 cheaper than the book last semester uh, and is actually cheaper than used books on Amazon. So it's a great package for you and I hope that you get a lot out of it. Um, so let me explain how you access this material. You go to the bookstore, you'll purchase your package, uh, you'll get back to your, um, your house or your computer and you'll open it up and you'll see it. Um, and what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go onto Blackboard um, that you normally go on to for your course. This is my Blackboard, so it looks a little different. Um, but you'll go onto Blackboard for your course, and you'll click into the course that you normally would to access course materials for your uh, instructor. Now you'll see here there are a bunch of uh, items in front of you uh, with little logos on them. Uh, this is these are these are links to activities in MindTap and each instructor is going to have more or less of these in different weeks. Um, they have the ability to um, do some customization in terms of uh, what they want uh, to take you directly to. Uh, some of these are ebook um, links, some are videos, some are quizzes, some are assignments or critical thinking assignments, um, but I think that you'll really like um, how everything is laid up online. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to click on one of these links. And as soon as you do for the first time, um, you're going to see a screen um, like um, you're going to see a screen uh, like uh, like this in 3A. So the first thing that you do is go onto Blackboard, which is number one. Number two, you're going to click on the link okay, that I just showed you a second ago. And number three, you're going to have a purchase uh, or you're going to have three options. The first option is purchase online. That is not what you want to do because it'll be more expensive. You'll want to go to the bookstore. Um, option two is enter your access code. If you've bought this product at the bookstore, you'll have an access code in the front cover. You'll want to enter it here. You'll do this one time and you'll have full access uh, to MindTap through Blackboard, which is how you're going to have access to MindTap. The third option is you can pay later. There's a three week grace period in case your financial aid hasn't come through or in case you're waiting for a paycheck to purchase the course materials, you can choose to pay later and go directly into your course. So there isn't an excuse for uh, not having access to MindTap, which has a full ebook in it and access to all the assignments as well. Uh, you'll have access to that on the first day, whether your financial aid has kicked in uh, or not. So that's where you'll go. The next thing I'll show you is uh, what MindTap is. So I'll actually do it just like you would. I'll go ahead and click into one of these activities. Okay, and if you have any issues, uh, your instructors are gonna be including links to technical support. Uh, many times you'll have pop-ups that'll come up in the right-hand corner. I suggest you use Chrome or Firefox or Safari. Uh, those seem to work best. So this is MindTap. This is the uh, front page. Many of your instructors will be giving you links to go directly into um, certain parts of uh, MindTap. 
but this is uh, initially what you'll see. Okay, so there are a couple things for you to do in the ebook, so I'll show them there to you. You'll notice that an item is an ebook because of that icon there. The bookstore should also be stocking um, instant access codes for you or printed access codes for you so that you can access MindTap um, uh, a little bit cheaper even without the package. So look for a couple of those options as well. Okay, so this is the ebook. Uh, this is just chapter 13. This is one of the sections. If you'd like to get to the full ebook, you can click on this uh, icon up here. Um, you can use this icon up here as a search in case you want to search for page numbers, keywords, any type of content in here. You can use it just like a Google search to search anything. This right here is a glossary, so you can search the glossary. If you want to find out how you're doing or how you did on a certain assignment, you will get instant feedback, but if you want to dig in a little bit to how you're doing in the class, you can click on this progress app here and it'll give you some information. This app right here is called Read Speaker. There's the ability for us to read the ebook to you aloud, and I will show you that. This houses some settings. This app right here are the flashcards. Some of these flashcards are integrated into each section or each chapter, um, but if you want to get to all of them, you can go right here. Um, you can choose different chapters here at the top, and then they work very much like a regular flashcard. You can click and see a definition, you can see a previous card, the next card, or even create a card in case, um, in case uh, your instructor mentioned a term that might not be in here. There are two ways to access a dictionary. This is the first. There's a dictionary app here. You can type in the word at the top and get the di uh, use it as a dictionary. Okay. This app down here is called My Notes. You can take notes, highlight, um, and bookmark different pages in the ebook. Um, and this is where some of these items will land. And I'll show you that a little bit more as well. We also have a notebook in here for you to take notes. And this also syncs to Evernote in case you want to use this on your iPad or tablet. Um, I'm already logged into Evernote, um, but you can use Evernote as well um, so that you can do this as well. This ebook is available and can be accessed on your iPhone or smartphone or tablet. All you have to do is go to the internet, log into Blackboard like you normally would on your computer, click through the course, and you're going to be inside MindTap. So, how do you navigate the ebook? You can use this arrow here by scrolling through pages. You can come here at the bottom and drag. Okay. So let's say you're in here and you'd like to do something. Let's say you want to highlight. You can just simply highlight some text. And when you release the mouse, you can highlight in different colors. Okay. So we'll do that. If you're not sure what the word thunderstorm means, you can highlight it and look it up in the dictionary. Okay. If this is a really important paragraph for you, you want to make sure that you remember it. You can click. You can highlight. Oops. Highlight and release. And you can add a note. Study this. Okay, and you can even, as I said, have some of the items read to you. Read text. And again, all you do is highlight and release the mouse and these options appear. Catholic doctrine had emphasized that both faith and good works were required for a Christian to achieve personal salvation. In Luther's eyes, human beings, weak and powerless. Now, if you'd like to have the entire page read to you, you can click here and have the entire page read to you. Um, there is an option to print as well if you want to print a little bit, um, but it's not formatted quite the same as you'd think. Normally you'd think you could come in here and click print and it'll print the whole book. Uh, it prints it out in sections, so there's a lot of pages. Um, so it's going to be much, 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 much cheaper for you to go to the bookstore and buy the package that we've set up with the loose leaf. 
The printed access cards I'm asking the bookstore to stop might be a little cheaper, but it won't be a ton cheaper. So this is really gonna be the best option for you, okay? If you'd like to bookmark a page, you can do that right here. You can find out information about the chapter here as well, as well as change some of the font size, in case you like it, the font a little larger. When you come into MindTap initially, one thing you might wanna do is come and do a systems check, okay? Make sure you're in the right browser, make sure your pop-ups are turned off, cookies, all that kind of stuff, just to help you um, navigate any bugs. If you do have an issue of any kind, your instructor is not tech support, uh, and neither am I really, but you can come here to customer support and create a case right here for yourself right away. Uh, during the beginning of class, we have extended hours, um, and we also uh, have 24-hour chat, so both those options should be good ones for you in case you have any technical support. If you have any other questions, you can always click on uh, the question mark. You'll see them in a couple areas, and they'll give you uh, a couple of tips about where things are and what to do. Okay. Lastly, everything else is pretty explanatory, but I will click into one exercise here that I hope some of your instructors will assign to you. These are critical thinking activities. They're very short and they're designed to help you learn concepts. What you'll do when it opens up is you'll want to select the first question. In this case, there's only one, but some assignments, there's more. We'd like you to read the information here, and each of these questions look a little different, okay? And then we want you to answer the questions here. In this case, I've already done these. The important thing for you to realize is two things. Down here, when you take it for the first time, it will say grade it now. So after you answer these questions, you'll click grade it now. And if you're right, you'll get a check mark. And if you're wrong, you'll get an X, okay? And if you click here, you'll get some feedback specific to this question. In case you're working at your house late at night and you answer a question and you want some feedback, you can come here and learn the concept uh, really without an instructor being there. Next, we'd like you to try another version, which will be the same concept but different questions. It is this that helps you learn the concept by taking it again um, for a second attempt um, and with different information but the same concept. And each of these will have three attempts. If you get 100 on the first one, you can click continue and go forward. If not, you'll want to try another version until you improve. If you struggle after the first or second attempt, I strongly suggest you read the explanations. I'll be posting some information for your instructors if you guys would like to learn a little bit more about training or support or some how-to videos, but I thought this was a great way to get started. Um, thank you very much, and um, I hope you uh, enjoy using this this semester.